10 riffs. 10 riffs are taught me guitar from easy to pretty difficult. And I think this one is relatable to everyone that once picked up a guitar. That one riff you just struggled with. When I started I loved punk rock music, so nailing that power chord was my number one goal. Here's one of the first songs I ever tried. Having to slide up and change strings for the first time. That movement was so difficult and to keep that shape it took me quite some time to feel comfortable playing power chords and partly because of this track now I can play power chords. Can you? Hit that like button. Let's go to number two. Play that song. <laughs> I mean come on those changes they are super fast. From that B to E that is when you're just starting out, that's power chord 2.0. Again, the struggle was real, which brings me to the next riff in this list. And wow, did I find that difficult. This brings back some memories, by the way. I was playing in a band. Wait, I need an, another guitar. Ah, yes. So um, I was playing in a band, age 14, I guess. It was my first band and we played one of our first gigs ever, this uh, band contest thing. Um, and this song was on the set list and I was scared I would make a mistake, like for real. Uh, and for this show we asked a more seasoned guitarist if he would join us as a second guitarist. But just before the show I asked him if he could play it because I was just too afraid I would mess it up. And he said, no, I think you're going to nail it, man. And in saying that he just gave me the extra confidence I needed to, to play that riff. And boy, did I nail it. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't even matter, it was a great show. The jury labeled us as a um, run-of-the-mill punk band. And to that I say, music isn't a competition. And, I don't know, play that song. How? This is punk rock. Don't play such difficult things. Tom, what are you doing? That's string skipping at that tempo. I mean, you, do, you shouldn't play such... <sighs> Talking about difficult things, open chords. The next phase in my learning process. One band that taught me so much back in the day, from guitar solos to riffs to finger picking to clean picking, I don't know, is Metallica. And this riff comes to mind because it was basically my introduction to open chords. Wait, I need an, another guitar again. Wait, Metallica and an acoustic guitar? Oh, I guess so. Before learning this song, I once dropped a mythical statement. <laughs> open chords. Who needs them anyways? I don't need them. Punk girl kids, right? Let's play the song. <laughs> get this down was amazing. If you learn this from tab, all those little embellishments in between. <laughs> so if you just look at the tab, it can be very hard to figure it out. And when you finally hear some resemblance between what you're playing on the guitar and what you're hearing on the record, I mean, that's so good. Next song, the early 2000s. I mean, oh God. Don't remind me. The golden days of new metal. And I love this riff and I just... Don't blame me, I was still a kid. But I just, I had to get it down. And I remember recording both guitars, like first the chords and then the riff over the chords. Good times. Here's Last Resort by Papa Roach. Papa Roach. So as you can see, a lot of finger action going on in this riff. Nevertheless, it's, a, I think, still a pretty cool riff. Next riff. 
the first CD I ever... Wait, you don't know what a CD... CD... Oh, yes, and the first one I ever bought was Iron Maiden, self-titled. Iron Maiden, Iron Maiden. And I just loved hearing those guitars. It wasn't really the music I grew up with, so I was really blown away by the, the skill and the, the, the melodies in the songs, I can say. So, sometime later, a few years, I guess, I tried playing my first Iron Maiden song, Transylvania. It's hard to see a pattern in these riffs over here. They're all pretty melodic or based on chords, harmonic. It's, it's really the kind of thing I love, I guess. So um, now we jump to the prog rock era of Paul Davids. And <laughs> let's just say this is one of my favorite prog rock songs of all time. Arriving somewhere, but not here, by Porcupine Tree. This is the bridge section of the song, Arriving Somewhere But Not Here, and I just love everything about this song. It starts out fairly pretty cinematic and easy, and then just jumps into this crazy, bonkers, insane riff in the bridge section. It's just really check it out. Porcupine Tree is one of the very few prog rock bands I still like to listen to, and I guess it's because of it's just great songs, no pretentious wanking or artificial rhythms that you see a lot in prog rock. Talking about that, <laughs> I played a lot of songs by Dream Theater or John Petrucci. <laughs> no, 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 no. Although I basically don't listen to Dream Theater a lot anymore, there's still a place in my heart for Dream Theater. Next song, that's that stumped them all. Yes, this is legit. Playing these kinds of songs is really a big reason I'm quite happy with my technique nowadays. So I'm still grateful to have learned so many riffs or shreds from the prog era uh, before I went in a different direction. I remember hearing John Mayer's Continuum for the very first time. That was a big step from where I came from. That tone and those songs. For me, it's such a magical combination. There's loads of great songs, there's loads of great players, but there's not that many great songs that have great players in them. A nice synergy, you can say, I guess. And weirdly enough, I needed a guy named John Mayer to introduce me to the blues. So here's Who Did You Think I Was? That leg is so juicy. Oh man. I remember ordering that Live in LA DVD and just waiting for it to fall on my doormat. I think I learned almost every song from it. Just so good. But listening to that is hard to not look at where it came from. It's crazy that I almost didn't play any Hendrix when I was young. So discovering his playing style later, after all that crazy stuff I played, was so enlightening. Here's one of the greatest riff songs, intros of all time. <laughs>
absolutely masterly done and so eye-opening for me. And this, this way of playing is way closer to what I play at this time than any of the other riffs on this list. And it would be very awesome, by the way, to see your list as well. If you could just come up with a few or ten riffs that would sum up your, your journey in guitar, um, it would be awesome to see. Just drop them in the comment section below that like button, which you can just press gently but firmly. It's good for karma, I guess. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Check out this stone, by the way. It's ah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Goodbye.